So, uh, we are currently undergoing the so-called man-to-man thing uh, demonstration in English, and people have uh, mixed reactions because um, the main agenda here is that the cost of living here in Kenya has gone up because uh, there has been increase in taxes on all, let's say, on the commodities that come with petrol, there's the for levy, I don't know what, the tax has gone up. And uh, when the tax on petrol goes up, then it means that all the uh, commodities will be affected, also the food and everything, the transport uh, sector and all that. So, People are out uh, on the road doing their thing, their so-called demonstrations, man to man, and so on. And uh, it one or another way affects uh, the whole country as a whole because uh, as I speak right now, things are on standstill because people fear their um, their lives. Uh, the shop owners, they can't open their businesses because they fear uh, the looters that may use the word manamano as a escape route so that they can loot and steal other people's property and destroy. So people are now on, well, how should I put it, people are on, there's tension everywhere and a lot of losses here and there. We've seen people uh, engaging themselves on the roads, lighting up uh, tires and stuff, um, putting huge stones on the roadsides to block uh, access uh, from one place to another. And this has affected most of us. Uh, this is the Mangamano uh, thing that has never been witnessed on the previous years. The previous years they were just uh, calm, but these years it's the Mangamano that has, um, has never been seen before because majority of the people are uh, on the road who express their feelings. We have uh, truck drivers that are complaining that they have been told to go back to driving school. And we find that someone has over 15, 20 years experience on truck driving and he's been told to go back to school so that he refreshes. And this person has, has never even uh, caused an accident. And we want him to go back and not forgetting the economy right now, the cost of living has gone up. Will you have, uh, you're supposed to go to work to earn and feed your family. And then the government tells you you're supposed to go back to school and learn. And this learning is not even free. <laughs> you have to pay for it. Where well, you get that money to pay for driving class and you have over 20 years of experience? Yet, you have to work and get that money and feed your family. It's not making sense. If it was, let's say, free, it could be reasonable that you're being told to go back to your license. I don't know, they revoke it on the system. You're being told to go back to school to refresh. And you haven't even cost any so. This uh, government hasn't, uh, let, uh, let me say, hasn't planned themselves well because you cannot just wake up today and say, go back to school. <laughs> you can't do that. Uh, they should have even uh, put a system whereby if you cause an accident, you go back to school, depending on your records 
on the road. So that would uh, at least make a little bit of sense because when you cause an accident, it means you are lazy somewhere or you are asleep during your driving. So you have to go back to school and refresh it. But some of these drivers, they have over 20 years of experience and he or she doesn't have any record that he has caused an accident or he has done what this and that and you're telling him to go back to it. So this issue is not uh, that reasonable as I say. So people out there are very hungry, uh, not hungry, yes, they're hungry and angry at the same time <laughs> because the cost of living has gone up. You're uh, hungry because more taxes has been into a uh, in induced on you and the salary is the same same salary you used to earn. So how will you save? How will you let's say sustain yourself with this coming day? So I think the Manamano thing will at least push the government to consider the low income people but some even uh, uh, on the other side people tend to use this man mano thing to uh, steal other people's property and it's not good or destroy other people's property and it's, a, it's not a, it's not a good thing as I can say or as I see the uh, thing so the government should focus on the most uh, important things when you say you're going to build uh, houses affordable, some some people have uh, houses and they don't require any house. So they should have even uh, put a system where if you need this house, pay this amount, get registered, and you'll be paying a little, little until you finish. So the, I, don't, I don't know if it's the advisors or what. So they need to like uh, have good advisors, or they should listen first uh, the, uh, to the views of the people before implementing something. Because you might implement something, you have a good intention to implement something, but the people don't want it. So you can't force. Uh, can't just put things to force people to do what they don't want. So it's not a good thing. So right now, most of the towns and cities they are on standstill and fires everywhere. So take care of yourselves.